Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. This is our second um, installment of the Overwhelmed Mama series that I tried to start so many months ago and God had other plans and wanted me to work on these things. So the next one I wanted to talk about is sometimes we feel very, very overwhelmed by our children and are doing things that sin against our children or our husbands when we are spending too much time on social media. And I say this as somebody who also has a problem with spending too much time on social media. It's very easy to just lose time when you're on there to get on your phone for a good thing and then forget to set it down when other things become a priority. So I'm saying this from experience, not as a, oh, you people out there that use social media, because I know you're all watching me on social media. Um, I don't think that social media in itself is evil. I think that the time um, and energies that we put into it can be too much. So um, one thing is, sorry, I'm looking at my notes because I wrote these a little bit ago. Um, so sometimes we can be upset that our kids are interrupting our time when we're on social media. But the problem is we are supposed to, as um, Christian wives and mothers, we're supposed to be putting our focus within our homes. And there are good things to be doing on social media that can actually be very beneficial to our family. Um, I'm thinking things like Pinterest, looking up recipes, finding solutions to kids' problems like being, I'm not saying to research all of your medical needs on Google, but sometimes being able to look something up um, of, you know, my child has a splinter, what's the way I can get it out, that type of thing. <coughs> Those can be beneficial <coughs> on social media. Um, but a lot of times the things we're doing on social media do not um, benefit our family specifically at that time. Um, so I think there's a difference between I need to look this up like the splinter thing. I need to look this up because my child has a splinter at the moment. I know there are too many times I can excuse myself that, oh, well, I was looking up natural home remedies for the children, but none of my children are going through puberty right now, so I don't have to look through the puberty things. I actually do have children that are that age, but just, just that idea. A lot of times it's like, oh, look at this good idea that I found that maybe 10 years from now I'll remember um, and use, and then I'm ignoring the needs that are in the house right at the moment. Also, social media can be used for ministry, which is what I'm doing with this video right now. But I need to make sure that I'm not taking the time and energy away from my family. Right now, I'm doing this video in my girl's room. Um, it was kind of a last minute setup, so sorry about the glare with the light and everything. But everyone was quiet and happy in the house. We have a baby who's still sleeping. Um, at nap time and we are going to be going out in just a little bit when he wakes up from nap so I didn't want to start a big project here in the house um, we have to go out because one of our children has a chiropractor appointment so I thought they're all being good everyone's had a good day we've gotten our school done I'm gonna let them watch a um, Bible show and I'm gonna come in here and do this video they are being watched by their older siblings and their daddy so if anyone needs anything they can get it but if I'm in here and I start hearing someone cry and need my attention I'm going to shut off the video and I'm gonna walk away because my ministry here within my home is more important than the ministry of making this video for you guys which I can make at any time that I choose or if I don't make it um, it's okay because God has called me to this ministry here first I want to do these things to help um, benefit other moms in ways that God has shown me, but it's something that I need to make sure takes a backseat to my primary goals. So sometimes we are upset at our children and take out our anger on them because we feel that they're taking away from our ministry, but our main ministry is to our children and to our home. So one solution for this is when you do have something that needs to be done. So like the idea of my child has a splinter, I need to figure out what to do with this, is to have some simple activities ready for these types of things. So maybe you have um, an important phone call coming in. We had a couple things going on doctor-wise recently that I was waiting for some callbacks. And so just an idea in the back of my, my <laughs> back of my mind, if the phone rings and it's the doctor's office, I need to have an activity ready for them that I can set them down right away and not be bothered on the phone call. Because the phone call was very, very important. Not because I want some free time to scroll Facebook, but 
looking up the, my child has a splinter, how do I get it out, is a very important thing and having something on backup for that. So maybe it's a favorite TV show. Maybe it's a game that the kids can do without you. Um, I have a couple kids right now that love the game more absolutely love the game more and they would play it 27 times a day if available so that's something I know that I can just say to an older child hey take these three little ones and play war with them and they're gonna be happy for 15 or 20 minutes while I get the activity the other thing done maybe it's even a special snack <laughs> I don't think that you should always use food for your children but there are some times where we've had um, something that I really need to be able to just drop something for um, you know 10, 15 minutes so I can take that phone call or I can do that thing. And so having something on backup that's maybe not irregular, something that they would think is very special, that you can be like, hey guys, sit at the table, big sister, go get this snack, it's sitting right here, and they can have that while you're doing the phone call. Um, also, um, to avoid being too drawn into social media. Um, having certain times a day where your phone is off. I'm not saying to turn off the ringer necessarily. Um, I actually have to have my phone on. I have to keep my phone in my room, which I know people would say that's a bad thing to have your phone in your room in the middle of the night. But um, our son with seizures actually has a watch that if he starts to shake from a seizure, it calls my phone and lets me know that he's having a seizure. We have almost I think every time we've caught his seizures before the watch calls me, but it's nice to have that backup plan. But I need to have my phone close enough that I can hear it in the middle of the night. So even if um, the baby's crying or something, I need to be able to hear it. So um, I always have my phone near me, but you don't always have to have it on or have certain hours where you say, I'm not on Facebook during these hours. I'm not gonna check Messenger during these hours. I'm not going to whatever during that time and sometimes it's even not taking phone calls like depending on I don't get a whole lot of phone calls so um, for me this isn't necessary but if you're like a person who does like an at-home business or something just having some hours of like I don't answer the phone between 4 and 6 p.m. because that's our family dinner time and play time um, and people can leave a message during that time um, having rules for yourself around social media um, so that way you don't have your attention divided between your children and the social media because usually we're not bothered with, if this is the, the issue that you're dealing with, with being overwhelmed with your children. We're usually not bothered by our children when we are planning to have time, like my time on internet is later. So maybe, you say, I'm not going to have my phone available from one to three, but from three to 3.30, I have some time to look up some of those random things, that curriculum you were thinking about or whatever. Um, so have a time set aside that you will use social media and a time set aside that you won't use social media because we usually get distracted by our, we usually get overwhelmed by our children when they are distracting us from the thing that we're thinking is important at the moment. But um, usually the thing we're dealing with um, I'm not talking about the doctor's appointment. I'm not talking about the I need to find the solution on internet right now. I'm talking about when we're randomly scrolling or we're looking at like curriculum is one thing that can be hard because you look at one thing and it leads you down another rabbit trail and another rabbit trail and it goes on for a long time. Um, doing those things, having a set time to do them so that when you're actually with your children, you they can have your undivided attention. <clears throat> And making sure that when you are off, when you've taken the time to put the phone away, let's say from four to six, I'm not gonna answer phone calls, I'm not gonna be on social media, making sure that you're taking that time to actually give your children the attention because it's very easy to be like, oh, look at me, I don't have my phone from four to six, but I'm sitting here reading a book and upset that my children are bothering me. Giving your children time each day that they are getting your full attention. Um, and that full attention of actually listening, not while you're scrolling. Yep, yep, okay, yep, yep. I know that's very easy to um, do, and I see it a lot. I see it in myself, and I see it in other people where children are getting half the attention um, because of phones and screens. So, and this is again, not to say that this is bad. I'm doing these videos on a screen because I know that I don't get to see all the people that I want to 
share this information with that God has given me. And my kids are watching a screen right now while I'm doing these videos. So screens aren't evil, just making sure you're using them in a proper way and not overusing them. So thank you for joining us on this series, Overwhelmed Mama on Hurting Little Cows to the Glory of God.